this is the Lego Star Wars 2011 Bounty Hunter Gunship. Uh, this set came out four years ago with the Star Wars The Clone Wars theme. It is 360 pieces. It's the same amount as the T6 Jedi Shuttle. And retail for 50 bucks. So, uh, I actually like this one a little bit better than I did the T6 Shuttle. Um, I mean, there's still a few things I could have done better, but I think it is a little bit cooler. Um, it is a little bit smaller, obviously, but, you know, anyway, um, still don't really seem like it's, you know, 50 bucks, but you get three minifigures, you get four minifigures, three of them are rare to the set, because of this last one is not, so, but yeah, this is a pretty cool set, uh, I really like this color scheme on it, it looks really cool. Oh, there's like green and yellow, a little bit of gray. So, so you get four figures. Three of them, you know, are only in this set. You get Aura Sing, which is uh, only in this set, I believe. And uh, it's pretty cool. Is um, this figure? What this character was actually in one of the Star Wars movies. Uh, if you watch Episode One, the pod race scene, this is actually her. So, I do have a little bit of uh, some back detail. So, this hair piece that they made is pretty cool. They have these twin like, little blasters. So, you get Aura Sing, you get uh, Embo. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, you get Embo, which is a uh, pretty cool figure. He's got this really cool hat and so. Uh, Kind of strap like sling with a uh, different ammo that runs to the back. Um, and this is what his face looks like. So, but I think this is like one of my favorite figures out of the set. Probably him and Aura Sing. And then you get Suji, which is a uh, kind of an interesting minifigure again from the Clone Wars. So. Sorry, the lighting is not really working too well. It's kind of a uh, you can kind of see out there. It's uh really kind of dark. I can't get it to zoom in, but it's kind of dark out there. So sorry, the lighting is not working too well. But she does have some like it's kind of her hair and some horns. So and you get a black. Kind of IG-88. Uh, I'm not being racist, so don't get mad. <laughs> but, um, just ignore that, what I've said. But anyway, um, I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a little bit. But, um, this set's actually kind of small to be 50 bucks. And just to prove that, I have the Slave 1 from 2006. And I believe it's 500 piece. Set. I can't remember the exact piece number, but you can see it's much bigger. And then here is IG-88. Yeah. So you can kind of see the difference. They're just the same, but just a different color. So, And these were actually like an Assassin Droid Battle Pack, so that's why they're not really rare. But, you know, whatever. Um... But you do get an opening and closing cockpit, and you have weapons rack up in there, which does come out. And um, the only thing is, this hinge is pretty weak, but I don't like about this set. Um, you can see it just doesn't stay up. I think it's because the hinge is weak, that or it's the weapon rack. But but you get some controls in there, and uh, you have these big doors on the side which open and so you have some room in there what's cool on the other side is you have this really cool looking like bounty hunter symbol like I think it's a bounty hunter symbol but it, it looks pretty cool and uh, it does open and so you have some cargo but technically what this is supposed to be 
is, what's really weird is Lego actually made this like a prison cell for our prisoners. And what I'm talking about is like this panel flips up. So I guess you can make somebody suffocate. Um, but, you know, that just seems weird how they would make this a prison cell because this bottom rack is actually supposed to be where the, uh, the minifigures fit, you know, like inside because it's a gunship. Um, but, and only one minifigure can hold, so, but, and it's also cool. There's this little box here, which is like a little vault. And uh, you open it up. It's actually the uh, the Jedi Holocron, which um, some of the bounty hunters were hired to collect. But, which is weird, because I don't remember these bounty hunters having to collect it. I um, believe Cad Bane was the one in the Clone Wars to do that. So, and on the back of it, uh, you have these rear cannons which kind of move up. So, it's also cool as the main fe play feature of the set is that you take this piece and you push it, and the engines are like that. It's um, really hard to do with one hand, but it's like that. But the only thing, it doesn't really lock in place, so it'll be like that. But if you want, you can pretty much just hold it and just fly this ship around, so, and then, you know, if you want to make it land, just, so, because it's kind of like the Slave 1, how it's got the solid bar that runs in through it, so, so yeah, there's that, um, should you get this set, I would recommend it, I, I think it's a cool ship, like, it's a cool bounty hunter ship, um, if you're in the bounty hunters or in the Clone Wars, then get the set, or if you just want to get these minifigures, and yeah, definitely get the set. Uh, I wouldn't really pay 50 bucks for this. I mean, I know now it's probably... I, well, I'll take it back. I actually wouldn't pay 70 because I know this set's probably running pretty expensive. Uh, I'm not sure how much it is. I forgot to check, but... So, so yeah, there's that. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. Um, hope you like it. And I do want to announce a couple things I will be doing. Uh, some other sets like the AT, AP, um, the ATST that's going to come, the AT, RT, uh, another collection video. I'm planning on doing that. And uh, I also want to collect a few of the uh, new Avenger sets for uh, Age of Ultron since the movie's out. And um, I've been meaning to get those sets, but I just haven't really had the money because Airsoft took a lot of my money. So, But yeah, there's that. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you real soon. Thanks.